Someone tried to flush plastic game jewel cases. No, they didn't. No one. It never happened. No one tried doing this. We made this. it up. Oh. 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 The daughter is talking the whole time. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I I'm not. I couldn't make this up either if I tried. Me that either. Me either, Rich. When we started covering him, I'm like, are we being too mean? When I watched Afro Dude, Afro Game Dude's video, I went, we're not hard enough on this no. guy. We're actually kind of nice. We're very lenient, and we're giving him opportunity to repent, to kiss the ring of Snort Hogan, yeah. to kiss the ring of Jay Hooft, 8-Bit Eric in the casino, to get on his knees and apologize. It's a merciful casino, Rich. Guys, We may yeah. have taken all your chips and all the felt off your table, but you might escape with your internet career. You know? Should you just bend the knee to yeah. the real kings yep. of this shit, Richard? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Rich of Review Tech USA. I want to make this video real quick, short, and sweet. I need a graphic designer to help me update and upgrade my logo, help me make a professional-looking channel background, and create an Wait. intro graphic to okay. use. At the so you got to create his background, his intro graphic, banner. his logo, his banner. You got to do all this artwork for him. Yeah. But all what right. will Rich do for you? Probably, what? Two grand. Beginning of my videos. Now, at this moment in time, I can't pay for this. Oh, wait. He can't pay. Let me roll. Just like he couldn't pay Jay, his editor. So Rich just believes he's entitled to have servants who were enslaved, really. Servants get paid. Rich believes he's entitled to have slaves at his back in command. Pop jump. What, do, what can I do for you, Mr. Rich, sir? Like, why does he have this level of entitlement that he believes people will work for him for free, that they'll do his bidding for no payment? Could you believe I slaves get food <laughs> of my videos? Now, at this moment in time, I can't pay for this work, but I will you mm, pay them eventually? I have an even better option. What I oh, even, even better. better. What's better than money? Like, that's what we all need to live, to survive, to put food on the table, roof over our heads. What do you, stickers of Review Tech USA, have? Okay, that's let's... going to be worth more than money. More than money. More. I will do for the person that is willing to do this work is I will do two things. One, for the next six months, in the beginning of every one of my videos, I will give a shout out to your channel and put the link to your but channel in the description. What if they don't have a YouTube channel? You know? Like, if they're a freelance artist or graphic designer, what good is a YouTube no. shout out to them? Even then, e even, even, it's like you're watching a Rich of Review Tech video and you see for 0.2 seconds a guy's link, you're going to click it? Yeah, I'm sure. No, nobody will ever click it. He's going to pay you an exposure. What's the one who's truly been exposed is you, Rich. It's you! Exposed. You can't Exposed fucking throw 200 for bucks. Being a cheapskate and a con artist, buddy. Oh, I said 200 bucks. He actually, he can't because we we learned later that Big Cheese's cat died because he didn't get the fucking money from Rich wow. for the vet bill. What and secondly, you will be boxed on my channel page, meaning if someone subscribes to me, oh your God. channel will be boxed. You recommend it to be subscribed. You're going to be boxed Remember on the, on the page? Back in the day, it was on the right side of the of the thing had, like, featured channels. But again, you're, like, the ninth featured channel. I have to Holy as well. Shit. I know I'm not the biggest partner on YouTube in the world. And this is back when he was not even as f***ing anything. No. You couldn't do $200? But I do get a fair amount of traffic, and it's a great way to network what you do and to get your network. work out there. Oh, wow. So if you do have a graphic design skill set and have some work you can show me, please send me a private message. Wait, and then on top of it being for free, you have to, yeah. like, apply for You'll this? You'll have to interview with him and dance like a monkey for his exposure. Whoa. He's picky for free work. 
This is his mentality. This is his mindset. And this is how it's been from the beginning until now. Oh, is it just now that he lost his mind with Jay? No, he's been a scumbag this whole time. I'm actually mad. Talk further from there and who I choose to make my desktop background. Who I choose... Oh, yes, who I shall choose to make my background graphic designer for free. <laughs> then you shall get your name. Somebody asked, what was the second benefit over cash? It's basically the same thing. No, he just he says said, that he'll... Description bar. He'll, he'll put it in the description box. Would it be, would it be the first link? No, it would be at the bottom under Twitter. Whoa! Satan AIDS wants to apply. Please send me a yeah. private message and we'll talk further from there. And who I choose to make my desktop background and my graphics will be heavily promoted on my channel. Yeah, anyway, guys, this is Rich of Review Tech USA. And as always, thank you so much for your support. So it's just a demented mindset from the very beginning, as somebody said in chat. Now, speaking Skip of it demented, like I know a lot of people have probably had like tough times in the bathroom. Lord knows I have tough times in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. But which of you would make a YouTube video no way. detailing your five <laughs> public restroom horror <laughs> stories? Tough. No, no. He's <laughs> actually <laughs> delivered it. And the last one, like, some of these are kind of mid and boring. <laughs> but the last story he comes up with is so good that it's truly going to be worth the wait. You guys wanted a Christmas special. Thank you. God. So this is it's his not Christmas face, special. It's not a face cam one. I thank know. God. That's what. Uh, no, that's um, the Christmas special of this. No, but imagine you're sitting down on Christmas Eve. Instead of spending time with your family, your friends, you decide that you're going to film a video about you going to public washrooms and post it online. Mm -hmm. This is how Rich of Review Tech USA spends his Christmas. Truly a friendless loser bum. By the way, someone went, you guys wanted? No. You guys wanted my shit stories, right? Like, no. No one asked for your pooing stories, you pig. Well, I'm going to give you a Christmas special. And my Christmas special, or Review Tech USA holiday special, is going to be about... Sh yeah, look at this. C, C Sales goes, hey, Andy, I shat myself alone all Christmas. How do you like them apples, you cokehead? I, I just don't know like how he, th how he feels so secure in going after people when he has such a gold mine. Just like so readily accessible. Right. And I, by the way, don't we got most of these saying. downloaded. We got like a terabyte yeah. of his videos. I have so many videos and I have other people working on it. Yeah. They're like, they're actually just volunteering for it. Yeah. I didn't need to solicit them to do it. No. They just hate you so much, Richard. They're like, let me archive all this shit. Let me send it to you, PPP. I have Because even Richard is a menace to that needs to be stopped. Yeah. I've got like message requests like, 30 guys who are like, you know, whoa, it's <laughs> shit, literally, and a whole lot more. Okay, hang on, let me go it's back. Be oh, yeah, about the shit. Domino's Pizza review. review. Tech US. Oh, that's so good, Lipstick Larry. He does the Domino's Pizza review. Okay. Say holiday special is going to be about shit, literally, and a whole so lot like more. So like all of his content. It's <laughs> shit. Okay the gift that keeps on giving yes you are rich. you really are the gift that keeps on giving rich <laughs> i'm making a video about my top five shut up chat you fucking public restroom horror stories so buckle up because here we go it's going to be a hell of a ride i think it's safe to say that everyone watching this video mostly despises using public restrooms even if they're clean it's just weird when you're sitting there trying to pinch a loaf. Don't you? Isn't it bad when you gotta go to a public restroom? Like, what is this, observational humor? F*** off. You some know. other guy walks in to wash his hands. Or if it's a dirty restroom, like at a gas station, you're skeeved out by putting your ass cheeks against the toilet. Because let's face it, there's sometimes... Let's be yes, real. Rich is such a dirty, loathsome piece of filth that he's never been skeeved out by a public washroom. He feels at home in it. Yep. He is like the definition of like the truck stop bathroom regular. 
connoisseur of the glory hole at the truck stop. You know what? That is Dickers. He's never done that thing where you pull toilet paper and like cover the seat with it. He just straight up sits. He just he doesn't wipe trout. it or anything. He just sits in the piss. He, he sits, sits in the shit. Let's be real. That's who Review Tech is. Going to public restrooms, the bottom line is horrible. But throughout my life, there have been things that I have seen in public restrooms that have traumatized me. And just be prepared. By traumatized, Did you look in the mirror? Turned I, exactly. Oh. <laughs> but by traumatized, he means turned him on, fired him up, got him horned. <laughs> Let's be real. Rich has an obsession with scatological stuff. We know what he's into. We've seen his search history which was hairy german grandmothers doing water sports yeah not even so if you're into piss you're probably into shit and like the hairy german grandma's thing rich like oh, what please. are you thinking buddy As i'm gonna lose my lunch all right here we go so the first one is is i used Multi to and just I with, go to like Gold's all these gym. question marks no it's actually true We'll have to do a uh, a full deep dive into that. But, I mean, by deep dive, it is that Richard literally on live stream just like put in a P into Google and it showed his <laughs> hub like hairy German grandma water sport. Like all the links and shit. Like, yeah. Just... <laughs> He's playing goat simulator. There you go. By the way. So the first one is, is I used to, now I go to Gold's Gym. But I used to work out at Planet Fitness. Lies. Wait, wait, wait. The wait. idea that he ever no. worked out is crazy. Every video he has to throw in workout, gym. Yeah. Remember he invited the girl to work out and then she went no. He's, and then he invited the her to Dunkin' Donuts. Fat person. He's like the fat person that doesn't just be honest with people that they're a fat, lazy piece of shit. He has to cope with No, no, no I really exercise. I don't understand. It's just genetic. Like just admit that you're a fat, lazy piece of shit like me, Richard. Just admit it. Yes. And the bathrooms there were generally clean. But if you want to see how the human male species can be like apes, go into a gym bathroom. And the thing Just that's scary, like I said, is they kept that Rich restroom Rich is like pretty the closest thing to an ape I've ever seen in the human species. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not exaggerating. This He's like a Neanderthal. This is the fucking most basic bitch. Can you believe how men act in the bathroom? Can you believe when I saw the bathroom? <laughs> okay. Be clean there. So it was people going out of their way to be fucking disgusting. Well, one day, actually, I just had to take a piss. I go in there. There were two guys at the urinal. I go in to take a piss. I had to go badly. I run in. And right next to the toilet was a big load of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you, you, no, you were standing there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there was because you were standing there. You fucking piece of garbage. <laughs> Huge load of shit. Now, not like a small one, like it was. Maybe, yeah, did it come from your mouth, Richard? Like all the other times, or what? Maybe it could have been a kid or a child. Maybe someone was changing a diaper. It was a Clean gigantic it, load. No <laughs> gloves, dickers. Clean it up. <laughs> oh, man. Of man shit. Someone, purposely, an adult, because you have to be an adult to work out at that gym. They don't have a daycare or anything like that either. You got to be, I believe, above the age of 16 to have a membership of Planet Fitness or 14, but whatever. It, it's old Richard enough that believes a the big age giant of consent is 14, you know? <laughs> There's Rich saying that, you know, children at age 14 are fair game for his sick fantasies. Crazy, Richard. <laughs> Load of shit shouldn't happen. <laughs> this was an adult sized man shit. Someone purposely pulled down their pants next to the toilet. I'm so glad. Cause they knew you were gonna be there. They were like, "Wait were... a minute, Rich is co Rich coming? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me let drop... me squeeze this out real quick. Let me drop this." <laughs> Toilet wasn't clogged either, so I don't get what that was about. And pinched a huge loaf. 
Now, you're probably in denial <laughs> about this thing to yourself. Well, maybe, Rich, maybe it was someone who had uh, the runs or something like that, and they just couldn't aim their ass at the toilet fast enough. No, it was... A, I mean, I didn't sit there and observe this shit because you could... Uh, wait, 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 Ash. He claims that he wanted to go take a piss. But now he's saying that he sat, meaning he took a shit sitting next to a piece of shit on the floor instead of leaving. <laughs> no, why would she just leave, bro? Whoa. No. Rich. He Rich. sat there with a, I would hold unless that. He's, unless he sat down to pee. <laughs> No. <laughs> Dickers, no. Honestly, see exactly what kind of shit it was in three seconds. No, no, I mean, I didn't sit there and observe this. I didn't sit there. Shit, because you could honestly see exactly what kind of shit it was in three seconds. It was a normal rock solid turd, a pile of turds. So someone what pulled down their pants, spread their ass and took a dump next to a fully functional toilet. For the lulls. Now let's think about this. Wait, didn't it he was say- It specifically Whoa. just to spite Deckers. No, no, hang on. There's a hole in this story. Okay. He, he said, he's a perfectly fine toilet. He said it was clogged a second ago. No, I think he said it wasn't even clogged. Oh, it wasn't. And that's sorry, why sorry. it was- Sorry, yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Person for a second, how fucked up. Like, here's the thing, even if it's a prank, the only thing I could think of is maybe it was someone who didn't like a guy who cleaned at the gym there because we did they did have dedicated people who cleaned during the day and during, at night. Maybe someone didn't like him and wanted to piss them off because I'm I'm not cleaning up. I'm a I just go to the gym. I ain't cleaning up shit. Maybe they didn't like the person. It's the only thing I could think of. But you still have to be fucked up in the head because how could you prove that you were the person? How would okay, Dickers? I think. You muted yourself. I think you're thinking what? way too hard about this guy. You know. <laughs> this is like Spoonie thinking about the toilet pizza. Do you remember that tale of the no. toilet pizza? Somebody at the game store actually wedged a full pizza, uneaten pizza, behind the toilet at the game store. And Spoonie, while he went in to take a dump discovered the fossilized toilet pizza and because people kept stealing like people's pizza without pitching in spoonie came out with the fossilized toilet pizza sat it down on the table and somebody actually came i think his name was big mike came and took the slice of the pizza out of the toilet pizza that had been sitting there for god knows oh. how long and actually bit into it and apparently it turned to dust in his mouth and he just started gagging everywhere. And then Spoonie just, like, you know, laughed his ass off. And then they knew it was him. Yeah. I would fight Spoonie for that. <laughs> that, would, that would be an actual. Well, Spoonie was owning the pizza pirates who were stealing the pizza from the hardworking people That's who based. paid for it. That's based. Man, we need to bring Spoonie back, bud. You're the Spoonie. Spoonie for third share. I, I would, would pay Spoonie. Four thousand dollars a month to be the third chair. Four thousand. I would Calm honestly down. give Spoonie so much money. I give Spoonie whatever he wants to be the third chair of. How the about show. this? Twenty five hundred a month, and we'll purchase games for him on Steam and PS Store. Yes, All whatever right. game Fair. he wants, we'll give him twenty five hundred a month. No. no, Spoonie won't do it for free. Spoonie the goals, is a piece of the goals would be two hundred a show though. Two hundred. It would subs. have to be yeah. two hundred subs a show with Spoonie aboard. To know it was you that did it, so that you could be like, "Yeah, Ven I actually feel sick right now." That yeah. that actually made me really sick. Vengeance. So well, no, McSwally just, you know Bulkin. Spoonie immediately, though, in order to be on this show, has to swear his allegiance to God Emperor Trump. Yeah, and support the Donald throughout the election. Otherwise, it's a deal breaker for Spoonie. To amuse themselves, decided to take a dump on the floor. I I, I don't get it. Speaking of shit, moving on to story number two. This was actually at the mall near me. So, again, this time I actually had to go take a shit. Well, didn't end up taking a shit because of what happened. 
So I'm rushing into the main bathroom at the mall that's near me. And, yeah, someone decided to create artwork. But not with a pen. Not with paint. Not with brushes. With their own no. fecal matter. I remember there was a name Steve. And there was Stop. a name on Ant- Stop. <laughs> okay, this is Bullshit. Is he full of shit? Yes. Pardon the Just pun. Just like the story. Stop. Yeah. Okay, pal. I. By the way, hang anyway, on. Their own fecal matter. What? I remember there was a name Steve, and there Did was a name Andre this? on the wall. How did Some... he decipher it? I don't know. Did he Freak get of... up close to it and squint to figure out what the names were? Oh, this is so fucking gross. Nature took. I hope, anyway, at least their own this shit. This was his Christmas. Special, put it on their, by the way, fingers. And this is so. And finger painted names, on the wall, with shit. No. Again, who's gonna find this funny? Why would you? Why well, would I'm, it's amazing that you found it, and had to endure it. So that was like, and you didn't really, really. First of all, rich, holding in a shit. X to doubt. If you're shitting at a public restroom, it's an emergency. Okay? Yeah. It's not like straight up, like I can't hold this anymore. I'm gonna shit myself. But um like apparently he couldn't hold it in the first story. But now in the second story, he had to. Hmm. Yes! Exactly. So but well, yeah, when you Liar! sit in public, when you like you, if you you don't walk into a stall and go, maybe I'll take a shit. You go, all right, look, this is I got a shit, and then Rich, Rich holds it in. Stop. Mm. I don't believe you can hold in a shit. Why would you want to touch your own shit? It, it's it's just it boggles my mind. And wow, they... very enlightening, <laughs> enlightening. So amazing. Stop this guy, wow, well, brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant, yeah. Richard. Who would touch their own shit? Were names, and you could see like they were the names were nice and clear. So they really, Steve and Andre. Okay, so we're supposed to believe that he remembered the name Steve and Andre and how they were written. You could tell it was with fingers and not they like draw with their shit. He sat there, he had time to think about this if you're disgusted you go oh and you're walking out andre whoever it was really took the time and effort with their shit to make sure the letters were angular and precise to make sure you understood that the a and the n and the d and the r and the e and you say with their fecal matter if it wasn't fecal matter it was the most realistic shit looking paint i've ever seen but it gets worse i really okay. had to go and i was all Wait, no. wait, so Most wait a minute, so wait you lied. a minute, Rich. You lied at the start? I'm he not lied. surprised. He lied. he lied at the start of the story. Because it was on the wall and the toilet was real. I was right. Until he'll be far away. So I go, I'm like, all right, you know what? I'll just ignore the shit toilet. I'm assuming is clean, but I still checked it. And thank God I did because they decided to smear the toilet seat with turds. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, so wait he, he a minute. Sat. Rich Rich lifted the seat covered in shit with his bare hands. How did this work out? Up, he had wait. to check it. He had to lift the seat. Wouldn't the whole seat like be smeared with shit? Did he and he said he had the shit. So did he sit on the shit smeared? No. See? He sat on the sm- shit smeared seat. <laughs> Oh, or did, no. he, or did he? Or did he hover? Stop. You filthy well. little liar dickers. People in chat are like, why is he putting this on the internet? Why is he saying this? I don't know. Because he's a low cow. He's an <laughs> idiot. I couldn't make this up if I tried. I you was could, very though. angry because my fat ass had to walk like at least probably like a mile down the mall. And I, I already had, had to, to walk shit badly. A mile. To go. I had to spot walk a mile <laughs> because there was a log in the toilet seat. I okay. We'll get to okay, another toilet. Richard. And luckily, I hate Rich so much. He was forced to walk one whole mile. Why does he make fun of DSP again? 
I don't know, man. <laughs> when you've said this shit, I don't think DSP has his shit stories all over the internet. Does DSP Does he? tell stories in the public washrooms? I don't know. The last Didn't story here is so worth it. I know it's like a bit slow and ret but the last story genuinely made me fucking keel over. Like I just died laughing. This is great. Have fecal matter on it or names written in fecal matter on the wall. Again, more than likely, I hope to God grown men writing their names in a wall with shit. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, 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 by the way, um, yeah, the, uh, I've seen the DSP animation of the story of the emergency. That one day we should watch that. It's so funny. It's, it's so funny. It's it is really, funny. really funny. It is funny. Yeah. My favorite video, we've watched it before at early, early casino days, was when he made the cup noodles, but he used the hot water of the fucking water cooler. So it's like not even hard and he's complaining the whole time. It's so funny. Andre, thank you for making me almost shit my pants running down to another bathroom. I salute you. Now, this one isn't necessarily disgusting, but it's one of those like world star hip hop facepalm moments that I probably should have filmed. As a matter of fact, I had a smartphone what? back then that I could have filmed it with, and I wish I did. It's so I used to work no, as a didn't. rep for Hewlett Packard. Liar! You know what, Richard? I know you're a fucking liar because you didn't have a smartphone back in the day because I have a video of you filming on a fucking potato in a Best Buy parking lot, Rich. Yep. On Christmas day wait that was Richard, christmas it was like the day or after christmas it was like the 27th of december rich of review tech usa took a family member to a doctor's appointment and decided that during the time that they were at the doctor's appointment rather than wait in the waiting room with them or go into the appointment with them he would then go back into his car and film on some sort of ungodly potato. It couldn't have been a smartphone. No. Like, the quality is so f***ing scuffed. Buddy, that was a video seething about Best Buy, not having the camera he wanted during the holiday season. Two days after Christmas, they don't have the camera that you want in stock, Richard. And Richard could only buy the camera because his parents gave him Christmas money because he was an unemployed bum. And he wasn't making all from YouTube. We should watch that so video. So Rich is a liar and did not have a smartphone capable of recording this incident. What a Packard. scumbag. Whenever they came out with new products, I would visit stores, demonstrate the products. I traveled to different stores. It actually wasn't a bad gig. It was only part-time, which is the reason why I didn't end up keeping it, because I went on to a full-time job. But it was still fun. But a lot of times, you would see the shit people did to try to shoplift and this one may be the most asinine one i've ever seen what? so you had a lot of downtime oh, with the job hard. yeah okay, okay i did there and oh, i would be there sometimes for anywhere from six to eight hours get on with and it. i had to go take a leak which busy or not you're gonna have to take a leak no matter what but anyway so i go to the bathroom again the, the, the urinals were taken up so i'm like i'll go to a piss in a toilet in this toilet there must have been half, probably like six different PlayStation and Xbox games, the jewel cases, in the toilet, and the toilet was clogged. Stop. Get the f*** out of here. That's a lie. Why, why is every story comes up with made up? That is actually the biggest... What? <laughs> they were what, trying what? to flush six... Xbox 360 games down the, cases? the toilet. The cases or the, the CDs? The cases. No, the cases. Why wouldn't they throw it out in where the you throw out the paper towel? Exactly. The napkins or whatever. You know well, what I mean? Well, Rich is like, going to address that. Oh, so he has to like preset all the... Okay, all right. Someone tried to flush plastic game jewel cases. No, they didn't. No one. It never happened. No one tried doing this. We made this. it up. This. It was a fiction. Let me put you in on a pro to life tip. Plastic jewel cases will oh, not go. Yeah, Silver Sheldon saw on point. It was a world star hip hop moment. How? How would this end you up know? on world star hip hop? Like world star hip hop is like black people fighting. Well, yeah. First like of all, right? You're right about that. Secondly... It wouldn't be on World Star or any website because it never 
happened. <laughs> There's not one thief who's like, okay, uh, I'll flush these. Well, Review Tech, as racist as he is, is trying to assume that a black person did it mm. because he racially profiles because he's a racist. He yeah. is, yep. Yeah down the shitter and the games were <laughs> gone i found out later so they did try to steal them and they actually tried to flush the fucking jewel cases down the toilet trying to get away with it and here is the thing that blows my mind two things actually okay your mind wasn't blown already that someone tried to do this there's something oh, okay let's see what it is game cases won't flush and for everyone out there saying oh they were probably just in a rush trying to get out of there just put them in the garbage in the bathroom. You had they have a third party company at most of the places like because I was actually visiting Best Buy that day, and he just put him in the garbage, and the person wouldn't even have given a shit. They would have just packed up the garbage, been on their way. And you know you when someone's lying and they add too much to the story. <laughs> Had your stolen game. He's over explaining. It's over 100%. way too much. hundred percent. But you tried, like a moron, to flush them down the toilet. Did you really think? And it wasn't a prank because, like I said, they took the games. Did you really think you were going Rich, to... Rich, move on, please. To, to the flush... next tale. Yeah, move on, the Rich. The next Plastic... tale of dickers. <laughs> it was the first time you tried the shoplift. Like, oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Just put him in the toilet. Put him in the toilet. This sector, whatever this is, rules. The fucking rich of review tag. The bullying it. rich segment, yeah. But you would reach your morons. You could have just put them in the garbage, and there's a 99% chance that no one would have been the wiser. Is he still on this story? But now, because everyone saw what yeah. you tried oh to do, now they're going to check all the tapes, and your asses, I think they did actually get caught. Because they were like, Wait. well, check all the tapes. And your asses, I think they did actually get caught. Because they were like, well, someone obviously stole the games. Let's go look at the security cameras. Now let's get back to disgusting. And what's more disgusting than hearing a grown man moan passionately when he's trying to push a log right out of his ass? Mm -mm, mm -mm. So I'm in a bathroom in ShopRite. All right. You know, the, the shit. Wait, wait, this story, imagine hearing a man shit. It's like we've all been to a public bathroom. We've all heard the, uh, yeah. like... This story better be like, like a guy screamed the N-word from the stall. Like, what is it? Game's real. I got to go take a dump. So I go run to the bathroom. And I'm sitting there, you know, in, in the toilet, minding my own business. In the toilet? No, I'm kidding. Out logs like He's a boss. In the toilet. And all, oh. all of a sudden, the guy in the toilet next to me lets out way, a passionate... Blockbuster critic for $4. Whoa. Real blockbuster. He says the story of the jewel cases sounds like it was stolen from Blockbuster Critic. I think he talked about something similar when he worked at Blockbuster. I think you're right. Ooh. I think that Rich actually thieved this story from the Blockbuster Critic. What a piece Sheesh. of shit. Don't play loyalty, Andy. All right, I'll do Bad World. I'll do Bad World. All right. Boss. And all of a sudden, the guy in the toilet next to me lets out a passionate groan, somewhat like this. Oh! Oh, wait! I don't need to hear you make those noises, dickers. Let's out a passionate groan, somewhat like this. Oh! What a psycho. But leave leave the man alone. He's just f***ing trying to shit. Like, can you believe he moaned? Yeah, I could. And I'm thinking at that point, yeah, that was a little jarring, <laughs> but I'm like, all right, you know. Okay, you know, he's letting it pass. You know? Oh, he's... He, Probably had a massive turd that he had to push there out. There were some hundreds as well. Yeah, it's true. You need that grunt to get it moving. Okay. Legato, but, no. I can see you. No, it continued. And it went from just him sounding like he had to take a huge dump to sounding like a soft core. Just as, this is right. not an exaggeration. <gasps> this is what it sounded shh, like. Shh. Listen. Just you hear? His child scream! No! Listen, 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 listen. I'm gonna put it very loud. Everyone, ear, earphone users, be careful. Everyone, listen. Just as. Oh wow, you oh. can. So, Rich refused to attend to his crying child on Christmas. In, on Christmas, in order to tell stories about poop 
in public washrooms. No, I swear. Look, watch. This is the Review this Tech is, experience. This is not an exaggeration. This is what it sounded like. Oh. oh. Wait, 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 wait. You can hear them continue talking. Listen. Sounding like a soft core. P what? This is. Ah. This is not an Charles exaggeration. Wailing. This is what it sounded like. You hear them talking right there. Look. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, well, after that, ah, watch this. This is this is not an exaggeration. This is what it sounded like. So he's going ah, 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 to make the sound for the video. And his child's going, wah, help. Oh, oh. Buddy, his daughter there is straight is. up talking. There it is. Hang on. Like, oh, Listen. oh, oh. Your daughter's in the room. Dada. No, please. You know, she's like literally speaking. Dude, listen. All right, well, we got some <sighs> exaggeration. This is fine that we're blasting the audio. Like, he's demanding the levels be fixed, but like, we're doing it for a specific reason, and I nobody did. else seems. To... Everyone's fine. Right? It's fine. Everyone's. Listen, lower. Like, just relax, but. It sounded like. Oh. 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 The daughter is talking the whole time. Yeah. I'm not. I couldn't make this up either if I tried. Me uh, either. Me either, Rich. And I actually probably am downplaying it. it a little it, bit Rox. as to what he sounded like. Now you're probably thinking what I was thinking at the time. All right, this guy is just playing a prank. He probably just wanted to freak me out, and he was probably bullshitting. What? Well, from the smell of it, no, he wasn't. But then we kind of almost in a creepy fashion get out of both of our toilets at the same time. And we go to wash our hands. And he's still kind of panting. Like he's like, okay. like, like he just ran a marathon. Okay. And he really likes doing the impression, you know? Yeah. He's he his was daughter in the room. Yeah. Covered in sweat from. So he goes, why is he talking about this? Um, <laughs> head to toe and it, i'll never forget because his hair on top of his head was thinning and you saw the sweat beads <laughs> dripping down but you're he bald rich no actually had sweat coming through his shirt from the <laughs> effort he had to put in chrysler comes to let out this <laughs> shit Lee. i wanted to quit life that day i i heard a man what almost give fuck? birth out of his asshole to a giant brown turd and i heard it I smelled it, and from the sweat on his body, I sadly saw the aftermath. I was traumatized for years after that. So you're probably thinking, Shut the f Rich, up. you can't top that fourth story. All right, here it ass. is. Here's, here's the here it is. piece this, of this This story is actually great. This story is crazy. I, I don't even know if it's real or not, but the fact that Rich told this story and thought it was a W online is amazing. <laughs> That, that, that was hilarious that was i can't believe that actually happened there's nothing that could be weirder than that that happens in a bathroom well obviously there can be i'm, I'm sure you're not that naive but those stories are pretty damn good how hey. could you top that are they well, though i'm about <laughs> they were like okay uh, shut up rich continue how to and make sure you're sitting down and make sure you've actually emptied your bowels and your bladder because you may actually defecate on the seat that you're listening to this youtube video in because it will make you shit and piss. So back in the early 2000s, like 03 to 06, let's say, I used to do music competitions in the city. During the day and during the... Music competitions? Did you lose every single one? Because we've listened to his music and it's... The his music was trash. The worst. What was he called again? Flip it up a... Like dip it up, flip it up. Il, was it Il Capo? No, it was like flip it up, dip Nine. it up. Something. Actually, this time, let me get my story straight. Il Capo. I was going was to visit an entertainment lawyer in Manhattan. So the visit Wait was done. 
Rich went to visit an entertainment lawyer in Manhattan. Why would he need to do that? No, he did. Does he did he actually believe he needed to visit an entertainment lawyer to <laughs> run Review Tech USA? Maybe he thought he was going to get like a music deal? I don't know. For for uh, not El Capo, it's El Crapo they're saying. Yeah, El I was Crapo. Going to visit an entertainment lawyer in Manhattan. So the visit was done, and I took a cab back to Grand Central Station, and holy shit, because I drank like five gallons of coffee, I had to take a major leak. So if you know anything about Grand Central, for you guys that live in New York and who've, who've been to the city, when you go there to go to the bathrooms, it's like, it's like going on a line for an amusement park. You aren't just going in there, and at best you're waiting for one or two people. You may actually wait in a line. So I did. It actually moved fairly quickly, though. I was only on the line for like a couple minutes. So I go to take a leak. And you would think nothing of it. And all of a sudden, I hear next to me, there's this guy in like a suit. And, he, and the reason why I noticed him, because he was breathing heavily. And it was no. kind of like this. It was like... <laughs> was he jacking off in the stall? <laughs> I'm like, he was. What? Yes. He looked over at Rich's penis. No. And started... No jerking himself off stop yes what the f what the what what the f like I, I, so i'm like I, i'm unzipping man like, I gotta take a leak. <laughs> and i see him looking back and forth and he's still doing that noise like <sighs> and i'm like no 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 i'm like i think it is right now and i'm just like no so no I, way. I, 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 I'm about to start peeing and I, I actually start peeing and I hear <laughs> what and the motherfucker and I'm looking and I'm like the motherfucker is glancing over to look at my popcorn shrimp schlong and his head is oh, oh. <laughs> no bring it up Rich, Rich Al. No. bring it up Richard Al. it's a big owl for review tech USA the guy's looking over at Richard's micro and just tugging his fucking meat. His man meat. Why would you tell the story? He shot a load on Rich's shoes like a magic. Why would you tell the story ever in the world? Oh my god. Rich always overshares. <laughs> this, is, this is a story. This is not you... something you needed to share with the class there. Dickers. This is a story you vault up for the rest of your life, you know? You <laughs> and he's moaning. He was spanking his monkey in a urinal at Grand Central Station. So I, I, I looking at up. your micro peen. I'm like at this point, I'm thinking, should I punch this guy? Should I, should I fucking scream? Should I mean? It's not like he's like assaulting me. He's just trying to glance at my wiener and to the guy's wiener next to me. He's just jacking off while looking at my cock at the urinal. Yeah, Rich, he's just doing that. But I'm like, I got to do something. What happens if this guy's like What did you do? Freaking... Did you start jacking off back? <laughs> Imagine. What do you even do? You know, just you know? leave. Just this leave. This is the Kobe Ashi Maru. It's a no-win scenario, buddy. <laughs> like, <laughs> He's like going to like assault the next person. That... <laughs> Should I suck his d <laughs> Comes to take a leak. Or he's like trying, or God knows, but God forbid a kid goes there. Whoa, <laughs> so you got to be a hero. So <laughs> Rich sees a guy jerking off and immediately thinks of children. You know, just saying it activated something in Rich's mind. Maybe when he's jacking off, he's looking at, I don't know. I don't know, Rich. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. But what about the game? child? And the thing was, he was still peeing after I was done peeing. What? Wait, he's jacking peeing? What do you mean? Wait, so was he alternating between pissing and jacking off? <laughs> like, is he peeing as, like, a cover for his, like, master... Like, he just lets out a little bit of pee? Like, when you first pull up and then he starts oh. cranking it? The details aren't adding up here, dickers. <laughs> Quote, he was peeing, a.k.a. rubbing one out. So literally right outside of the bathroom, there was a cop. Like the cop was like maybe 10 feet away. <laughs> okay. So Rich decides to be a superhero and go to the police. He'd be snitching on the OG Gooner. And the... <laughs>
This is unbelievable, Ashton. I don't believe this. How, this story, I was like, okay, it has to go on the show. This, this is, but even saying it as a fake story, it's still horrible, like a horrible idea. Yeah. Like it's an L whether it's real or fake. Like, you exactly. Know? Exactly. Bathroom. So I go to the cop. I said, look, this is really even awkward to say to you, but there is a guy like pee, being a peeping Tom looking at dude's junk and he's masturbating in the urinal. Isn't it funny how the, the person on the right is flying over the, the gay pride flags? Look, look on the, up, on the video. As Rich tells the story. Uh, on the video. <laughs> is, it, at, could it really be a coincidence or is this Rich's gay sex fantasy? <laughs> is this his fantasy or what? <laughs> dude's junk and he's masturbating in <laughs> review masturbation usa <laughs> yeah like instead of reviewing tech he's reviewing some guy's masturbation session in the public toilet <laughs> no the cop just looks at me and goes oh okay that's it the cop laughs the cop's like but i can't He's like, Gibbs, what do you want me to do? He's like, it's New York. Where, like, it happens yeah. every day. The cop just doesn't care. It'll happen today. It will happen yesterday. And it will happen it's tomorrow. It's like, I've already chased him out five times this week. Yeah, the cop probably does it himself. He was literally like feet away from the bathroom. It would have been no effort to go check. And he, he just did nothing. What's the cop supposed to do? Go up to everyone in every urinal of Grand St St Central Station and check to see who's jacking off? What do you want? This cop's not paid enough for this shit. He already has so to watch the so bathroom. So guess what Rich's next move is? After being told by the cop that the cop just doesn't give a shit. You want to guess what Rich does next? Chat. Do not tell me. I, guess what Rich me does guess. next. Let me guess. Does he ask for the police's fucking badge number? No, actually. Okay. <laughs> Does he go back in the bathroom and try to apprehend this perp himself? That's exactly what he does. <laughs> That's exa that's exactly what Review Tech does. He does not. <laughs> he goes he goes back into the bathroom. A citizens arrest. To try and set settle the situation himself. Shut the f up! I just walk away, Alan, man. Leave! Leave! You're lucky he didn't come in your eye. Just, oh my god. Just, his, He's just his cape is just flying. Just full on superhero. Don't be a hero, <laughs> buddy. Yeah, Rich wants the cop to do penis inspection day. Excuse me, officer. Might you expect this guy's penis? Might you inspect no. his penis? This story may be the craziest story in the world. So I'm looking at the cop and I'm like, I didn't, I'm like, I'm not going to fight with a f***ing cop in Grand Central Station. I wanted to get home. So you decided to, my train's about to leave. Let me just battle the public masturbator. Right. Amazing. Like 10 minutes away. But just out of curiosity. What? Just out of curiosity. I kind of cut through the line. And I go back in. I'm like, I'm gonna. Maybe he. Maybe he was just trying to pass a kidney stone or something. I could hear his daughter crying. Look. Go back in. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm gonna. Maybe he. Maybe he was just trying to. Your daughter on Christmas is crying in the other room. I can hear her in your microphone because you know you don't have a noise gate, and you're talking about a guy jacking off, and you going back out of curiosity to watch, and there was no line. Like what? Now you just butted everyone in line. No one stopped you pass a kidney stone or something go back in dude's still at the urinal and still looks like he's spanking his monkey probably a few minutes after and his well, what, are you gonna do, what are you gonna do about it richard you know yeah what are you gonna do dickers so either he's taking the longest piss in human history and he was saying i'm gonna miss my uh what's it called my train but you have time to run back in but everyone in line to watch a man masturbate for another five seconds What's wrong what? with you? What's wrong with you? He's a sicko. He's a perv. 
You wanted to see that man meet in action again. He just had to go back for a second glimpse. You know what Johnny Average says? He goes, Rich, pause the fake story and take, take care of your daughter. Like, you know, Rich of Review Tech, stop with the fake story and go watch your daughter. He was rubbing one out yes. and getting off looking at other dudes while he was doing it in the Grand Central Station urinal. I am not making any of this up. I am not exaggerating it. I swear to God, this isn't what happened to be at Grand Central. And these are my public well, restroom wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. That's the resolution? You just walked in and watched him bust a nut? That's what I'm saying. Do he just didn't do anything. No, he butted everyone in line while he's missing his train to watch a man jack off for a little bit more. And no, like, he's like the worst superhero ever, you know? The cop won't do anything. <laughs> I'll take care of this. Never mind. Like, what? Horror stories. I'm telling you, man, if you could hold out till you get home, wait to be at home sweet home to take a piss or take a dump because you will encounter this shit. So no, Rich. Okay, we're, we're, not, not we're not encountering right. men jacking off in the so call. Let's go. We're going to take a quick break here, a few minutes.